What's up guys? My name is Kai, I'm the Nerd of Strength, and I'm back yet again from another very long hiatus that I won't bore you the details of. Uh, of course I'm back in time for World's Strongest Man. And today I'm going to start my series of prediction videos for all five of the heats. I won't bore you with the details of going over all 25 athletes because at this point in time we already know all 25 athletes and we know which events are going to each group. So that will just be discussed in each individual video. First up, we of course have Heat 1, which includes Brian Shaw, Ivar Schmock Stellis, Graham Hicks, Maxime Boudreau, and Travis Ortmeier. And for their events, they have the Loading Medley, the Squat, Fingles Fingers, the Overhead Medley, the Pickaxe Hold, and the Last Man Standing Atlas Stones. Now, currently, at the time of this recording, I don't know the exact weight for each event, but I'm, of course, still going to make my speculations about who's going to win what. Now, out the gate, who do I think is going to win the group overall? Brian Shaw. Plain and simple. I know it's a bit anticlimactic, but it's Brian Shaw, guys. Say what you will about Brian Shaw and how he has a podium in the last couple of years in the finals, but he's still the four-time World Strongest Man champion, and he hasn't not won his heat overall since 2010. So realistically, saying that he'll come in second or third and has to do the uh, Last Man Standing Atlas Stones, I still think is crazy to think, even in 2021. Uh, what I think he'll do in the finals, I will obviously say for when we talk about the finals, but there's no denying that Brian Shaw isn't going to get to the finals, unless something extreme happens. So I'm placing all my money that Brian Shaw is going to win his heat overall. But going more into depth with the overall heats and events, let's see who's going to place in each event. Starting with the loading medley, uh, do I think Brian's going to win that overall? No. Yes, he's lost weight. He does this every couple of years where he talks about losing weight and being faster to help on the speed events, but you can't beat Father Time. So I'm going to give that to either Maxime or Ivar's uh, in terms of winning the loaded medley. Travis is a lighter guy who's also fast, but he's also up there in age. So I don't necessarily see him winning that load medley. Travis could pick up decent points or come in dead last in this event. I don't know if Travis, you know, sometimes he could be very well. He... He used to be a perennial finalist, but that was 10 years ago. And remember, the last time he competed at Worlds was in 2011. Um, he has competed at SCL in 2018 and 2019, and has done a couple of international shows here and there, like the Serbian Power Show, a co uh, like a couple weeks ago. But to be at Worlds level, I don't know if he's there just yet. So I would give the load belly to either Maxime or Ivar's in that regard. Moving on to the squat, I definitely think is going to be Hicks's event. Like Hicks is an excellent squatter. When he was doing powerlifting a couple of years ago, like his squat was fantastic. But Maxime also had a really good squat last year at Worlds too. You know, we, we've seen that shot at him with a bloody face while he was squatting. And I think he could pull something out of the bag. Ivar's isn't too bad on squat. He's decent, but I don't think he's going to get a lot of points here. Brian's a good squatter, but again, I think that's going to be Hicks's event, and I can see Brian coming in second in that event. Travis, I've seen video of him practicing the squat uh, with a squat suit, but I, he's definitely going to lose points in that event. Moving on to the Fingle Fingers, that's obviously Brian's event. Brian has never not flipped all five fingers and has always put up a decent time in that event. Uh, his training looks very well on that in his videos. Last time they had it at Worlds was 2017. Um, so in terms of experience, definitely going to be Brian. Um, Maxine didn't look too fast in his practice runs on Instagram, but again, that's social media, so it is what it is. I think Travis can do decent in this event because he has experience on the World's Strongest Man fingers. Uh, but again, he hasn't been there since 2011, so I don't know if he's dust off the cobwebs on that. Ivars can definitely be a wild card in this event. That's not something that they normally contest at 
uh, the Strongman Champions League, but he has explosive power and he has really good overhead power. So maybe he could pick up decent points in that event. Hicks, though, again, in his training, he didn't look the fastest in fingers. Great overhead presser. It's just about the shifting movement of it where I think he'll lose points just based off of time. Then we go into another overhead event, which is the overhead medley, something that Graham is going to excel at. Same with Maxime, and Ivar is doing decent points, Brian as well. Uh, I believe it's going to be like the, the whippy circus barber like they had in uh, 2015 Worlds, which I like that event. I think it's a cool, classic, strongman-looking event. But I know that whippy bar will trip up a lot of folks. Um, and in terms of who has experience on that, Brian has experience on that. That whip might throw off Ivar's. It might throw off Maxime. It might throw off Hicks. Who, who knows? Not sure if the overhead melee is going to be like the one in 2019 where it was like double dumbbell, circus dumbbell, uh, log, circus barbell, or if it's going to be like the one last year where it's just all circus dumbbells. That could definitely vary which type of overhead melee it is and how well these guys do. If it's the one where it's like dumbbells and, and log, uh, I see that going to Brian. Brian has the power for that, and then maybe Hicks. Hicks is also much better at log uh, versus circus dumbbell. So as long as they have log, I think this will be um, Hicks's event. Uh, if it's double dumbbell, circus dumbbell, I would give it to Brian. Last year in Maxime's group where they had the double dumbbell, uh, he definitely kind of struggled getting transitioning both to overhead. So I think he might lose points on that. But again, if it's log, he could do very well on that. We have four fantastic log pressers in this group. Graham, of course, being the British log press record holder. Maxime being the Canadian log press record holder. And I believe Ivar's is the Latvian log press holder. Don't quote me on that last part. But yeah, fantastic overhead pressers in this group. Uh, overhead medley, it's a toss-up between Graham and Brian, but I'm going to give it to Graham as long as they have log. I'm going to give it to Graham. And then finally we go to the pickaxe hold, which um, I'm not sure if it's going to be a front hold like this. You know, they were holding it, I've seen a lot of training that they're holding it like this, as opposed to like a crucifix hold where they hold it out to their sides. I'm, I believe it's going to be front like this. And um, this is a toss up event in my opinion, because I've like, really never seen Brian do like a front hold event. I don't think I've ever seen Brian do a front hold. Um, they can test that a lot in uh, Strongman Champions League. Um, it's also been contested a couple of times at the last couple of Giants Live events like Europe's Strongest Man and Britain's Strongest Man. So Graham has experience doing front hold. Ivar's has experience doing that as well. Um, Travis does a bit too since he's competed in SEL, but he hasn't competed in SEL since 2019. So it's been a Ivars puts out decent times in front hold events in the Champions League, but Champions League is also a much lighter weight. Um, Graham probably has a bit more experience doing front holds, and he's very barrel chested. And I actually think that kind of helps on this event. I could be wrong about that. So I'll give the pickaxe hold to Graham. Not sure how Maxime's going to do on this, and again, not sure how Brian's going to do on this. I've really, literally never seen Brian do like a front hold before. He's been practicing it a bit, but I don't know. And Travis has like very long arms and levers, so he's traditionally not very good at events like this. But there's one uh, SCL event where he did very well and won that uh, front hold, so we'll see. And then we move on to the last man standing Atlas Stones. I've heard various things about whether the Last Man Standing Stones is going to be a stone series like it was last year, or if it's going to be stone over bar like 2019, or a combination of the two where it's just the series and then the final stone they're going to keep repping back and forth. I'm not sure. Um, let's just say it's going to be like last year where they had to do eight stones for time. And who I think is going to be the second and third place overall. Because again, I think Brian's going to win the group solely based off of winning the Fingles Fingers and picking up decent points in the overhead, squat, and load. Um, 
my heart wants it to be Ivar's and Maxime. They're two of my current favorite strongmen. I've been following both of them since 2016. Nothing personal against Hicks. I like Hicks too. But I wanted, I want to see Ivar's and Maxime fight in the Stone Over Bar. But realistically, who do I see as second and third in this heat? Um, I see that being Maxime and Graham. Solely because Graham is much better at squat. And I think he's going to do very well at the pickaxe hold. I think squat is going to make Ivars lose valuable points, which will probably put him in fourth and miss out on the last man standing stones. Which sucks, because again, I was one of the people who truly believed that he was going to do well last year in his heat and go on to the finals. And I was right about that. This year, with his group, I don't think that's going to be the case, which sucks. So again, second and third, I think Graham's going to come in second, Maxime will come in third, and who do I think is going to win the last man standing Atlas Stones? I think it's going to be Maxime. Graham did decent at the last man uh, at the Atlas Stones last year, but then he had a bicep injury um, during the finals, but he's healed that up and his training's going very well. But he's not the fastest at Stones. Maxime is hungry. And outside of Tom Stoltman, he had the second fastest time of all of the Atlas Stone runs last year. And he only missed the eighth stone last year because his belt flew off. So I absolutely believe that he can win the Atlas Stones and win that event and go on to the finals. We've been saying it for two years at this point. Maxime is hungry. When he wants it, he'll go after it like a rabid wolverine. And you know what? I absolutely believe that he's going to do that here. If you've been watching his training on Instagram, he's been repping out like a 460 Atlas Stone like it's nothing. So I truly believe he's going to win the Last Man Standing Stones and go to the finals with Brian Shaw. So here's who I have winning each event overall, who I think is going to win the group, which is Brian Shaw, and who I think is going to win the Last Man Standing Atlas Stones, Maxime over Graham. So those are my predictions for Heat 1. Do you guys agree with my analysis so far? Let me know in the comments below. Tomorrow I'll be doing my predictions for Heat 2, which includes Tom Stoltman, Evan Singleton, and Trey Mitchell. Once again, my name is Kai. I am the Nerd of Strength. If you like what I do, please like, share, comment, and subscribe to this channel. You can also follow me on Instagram and Twitch at Nerd of Strength, where I will be live streaming parts of World's Strongest Man. No, I'm not going, but we'll try to be watching some Instagram live videos together. Uh, look back here on Sunday for more details about that. And you can also check out my Patreon and Ko-fi if you like what I do and want to help support me just a bit extra. Thank you guys for watching and have a great day.